So remember we said that we can describe a line by giving a point to say where it is and then giving it a direction. Now we're going to talk more later on about how we describe what direction a line goes in. But for now I'm just going to say the line goes this way. What if I say, okay, here's another point that's not on this line. And I say I want a line that goes through this point down here in the same direction as that other line. Now, through the magic of being on a computer, I can make that happen by copying the other line and moving it over here. These two lines now go in the same direction because when I move them around on the computer, I don't twist them at all. That process of moving something without twisting it at all is called translating. And when we translate a line, we get a line that's in the same direction. Now that leaves two possibilities open to us. Maybe it turns out that we got the exact same line. How could that happen? Well, here I'm going to take this line and I'm going to translate it, but I'm going to keep that point that I'm focused on just right on my line. Right? You see, but these are just different parts of the same line. Remember, the line itself extends forever in both directions. So maybe when I translate a line, I just get the same line again. But maybe, maybe they're not the same line. If they're not the same line, they have a special relationship. They're in the same direction, but they're different lines. They're called parallel. So to put it another way, two lines are called parallel if they're different lines but in the same direction. Now there are some really nice things about parallel lines. One really nice thing about parallel lines is two parallel lines will never ever cross. Sometimes that's actually given as the definition of parallel lines, that they never cross. Now that doesn't just mean we don't see them cross on the paper. That means even if we were to extend them forever, we would never ever see them cross. Given a line and a point that's not on the line, we can draw exactly one parallel line through the point. How? How do we do that? Well, we pick out a point on the line and then we translate the line so that that point lines up with the given point. What does that look like? Here's a line, and here's a point that isn't on the line. I pick a point that's on the line, and then I make a copy of the line, and translate it so that the point I picked lines up with the point that I was given. And there we go, parallel lines. Now, one of the really common places that we see parallel lines is in places like notebook paper or graph paper. All right, look at the background here. All these horizontal lines in the background are all parallel to each other. All these vertical lines in the background are also all parallel to each other. 